Hi guys, this is Mac from Inspired Life and today I would like to talk to you about energetic alignment with abundance. So let's get to it. Now, as you saw in my blog before I shared with you how I like to go to pretty neighborhoods. That actually helps me with my energetic alignment with abundance. I like to go to places that are beautiful, where I love the architecture, where it makes me feel really calm, safe and happy um, and abundant really. So I like to go to neighborhoods that make me feel that and actually I live in one of those neighborhoods because I knew that if I stayed in the neighborhood that makes me feel good, that makes me feel abundant, that I will be able to maintain that frequency for a longer period and consistently, which has really helped me <laughs> do exactly that. So this is one of the things I like to do to help me stay in the abundant flow and it's absolutely free and it doesn't take a lot of time and you can just walk around and enjoy the beautiful places. <laughs> The second thing I like to do is to also go to certain shops that are maybe high-end or some shops that I really like that might be a little bit out of my price range. So I like to go there and simply pretend that I want to buy something there. I even ask for the shop assistant to help me. I enjoy the perks of being treated well in those places and I like to just play this role of being uh, an abundant person and that's how I align and because I don't have to visualize it sometimes visualization doesn't really work for me it's really hard for me to visualize something that is not here yet but if I go and if I physically experience the space or a certain event or a certain area it actually helps me get into alignment much quicker because I don't have to imagine it I'm already there and I'm feeling the feelings and that's what ultimately matters just feeling abundant is what's really going to make a difference in your life to attract more abundance. Doing the things that will basically help you feel abundant in the present moment is what's going to make a huge difference. Then it can come much quicker. You are more open for it. You are understanding what it feels like and so you are able to attract it much easier. And third thing that I like to do is uh, an example that I often share, which is up leveling with coffee. <laughs> this is just one of the examples, but it's uh, basically choosing a product that you love that is slightly out of your price range. So I moved the border little by little. Uh, it started with Lavazza, my favorite coffee. It's not my favorite coffee anymore, but it used to be for a really long time. But uh, for a while there, when I was really broke, I couldn't afford the coffee that I wanted. I was literally counting every penny, so I needed to budget a lot. And I would get the cheapest coffee, which was not always a pleasurable thing to do because uh, I didn't really enjoy that coffee as much as I would enjoy my favorite coffee. So when I got my first full paying client, the first thing that I did was up level with coffee. I, I treated myself with my favorite coffee, uh, which when I look at it now, it really doesn't seem like a huge step because it's really not the most expensive coffee. <laughs> I feel a little bit ridiculous when I speak about it today, but I know it made a huge difference for me back then. It was just a few years ago and it was really a big deal for me. After that, I started buying uh, even uh, more expensive coffee and uh, today I'm buying from a specialized coffee place I'm choosing my grains and what I want to try next and I am trying to really live in a more abundant style which means that I am giving myself permission to try whatever I desire and I'm not holding back really <laughs> so um, I think coffee is really a good example of that or tea you know I do that with tea as well just trying different kinds of brands and maybe up leveling and getting um, higher priced tea and then eventually going to a specialized shop where you can get a really high quality tea and honestly when I was younger I really didn't see any difference but when you don't know then you really don't know that there is a difference if that makes sense but once I started tasting and experiencing more high-end things and experiences you can really feel the difference and 
that is ultimately what matters the most is the feeling of it the feeling of abundance right now this is what you're trying to achieve to feel abundant in the present moment and whatever you can do and you can do simple steps like this that's what's going to make a difference to shift your vibration and it doesn't have to be expensive it doesn't have to be a lot of things it can be little tweaks here and there and they will make a difference and you will start experiencing abundance in the present moment and what it feels like to be expansive and just giving yourself permission to to enjoy life and to be the best version of yourself and to treat yourself to to know that you deserve to treat yourself and once you are feeling that your energy expands and you are able to attract and receive and keep what you desire much easier so i hope this helps you with your energetic alignment let me know what kind of things you like to do to align with abundance what feels abundant for you and i'll see you guys next time